Okay, so uh, we're gonna be doing a tournament now. I've done a design contest before, but tournaments are probably more fun than that. So we're doing a Hasbro tournament. Um, specifically Hasbro, because Takeru Tomi and Pro Series Babes are um, a little bit too OP, and if I had like both Hasbro and Takeru Tomi, then um, then like it would just not be very fair. Um, oh yeah, and if you don't know what we're doing, what this thing is, it's a combo battle tournament. Combo Beyblade. I don't know what the acronym stands for, but we're not gonna say the acronym because it's very weird. But um, basically, I'm gonna show off all of my uh, Hasbro Beyblade parts, and then you guys are gonna comment down below um, a combo for you to submit into this tournament. And then um, I'm gonna live stream it in like a week or two, and we're gonna do battles and stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, common rules: um, one, if a part has been used up, like let's say I run out of a certain part or something. And you have it in your combination already, then I'll just reply to you and say that you gotta change it. And also, only choose the parts that I show off in this video. Also, I'm not naming them. I'm not naming all the parts. That'll take a very long time. And I know that um, people's attention span probably aren't um, good enough for uh, w watching through all of that. But um, yeah, now it's time to take apart all of my Hasbro Beyblades and um, show off the parts. Huh. Let's go! Okay, so we're gonna start off with all of the layers. So here, so I have them organized in different categories. So here's the first one with um, single layers and dual layers, including some of like the Slingshock and Speedstorm recolors. Here we have the Plastic Gen remakes and the um, Evolution layers. Uh, side note, I do have an orange Genesis Valtriac, but I put fake drivers on it because I was a stupid kid, and now the slopes are really bad. So I'm um, only one option for him, but that's fine. These guys are here because they also released an evolution, which is interesting. Um, here we have all the uh, Slingshock layers. Um, I know these three are technically Hypersphere, but they are kind of Slingshock or Turbo layers because they have the level chip hole. And this one's just um, Artemis, so there's that. Um, over here we have the chips. So we've moved on from like basic layers, now we got chips, which are um, organized so the left ch chips are on the left, dual spin in the middle, um, and right spins on the right. This will be a common theme with how the things are organized, and you'll see that with the layer bases too, which are right here. So yeah, GT chips, GT layer bases. Moving on to Speedstorm, we have the um, left spin chips over here, Spriggan, the only dual spin, and a ton and I mean a ton of right spin chips over here. Then we have the layer bases. So here are the layer bases for left spins. Not not too many, but you know. Uh, world, because there's no other dual spin. Kind of sad. Wish they made Diablo's dual spin. And then all, of course, all of these right spin bases. All right. And then finally, the quad drive drive chips. And the quad drive layer bases. Also, as you can see, the gravity rings are already attached to... Um, the uh, layers for all of them because the gravity rings don't matter since they're all plastic so um in your combination just don't name them if you want to use these guys don't name them at all but um that does it for the layers let's move on to the discs we're of course going to start off with these discs which are discs from the single layer and dual layer series so we have that moving on we have the core discs that um um they uh have numbers as the name because there are some that don't have numbers in their name, and that's these. So that's like um, hypersphere discs and also aero dash because why not? Here are all my frames. Um, so yeah. Also, some of these core discs right here, um, and some of these frames, and also I think a disc over there um, are Pro Series and um, TT. But honestly, like the gap between um, Pro Series and TT um, discs like core discs and frames compared to normal Hasbro is like not really there, so I think it's fine. Uh, here we have all of the Speedstorm discs and also we have two copies of Outer. So all of the discs that released like from Chosey and After, or Turbo and After for Hasbro that aren't core discs. And finally, the, the quad drive discs right here. I expect a lot of like these things, some maybe some of these and quarters with frames. I don't expect anyone to use these, but you know it's there. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the drivers. So to start off the drivers, here we have all of the drivers from Switch Strike and below. Also, the blue variable is awakened, and the white and red one is unawakened. Um, so 
if you want to use variable, just choose which one you want. So you got that. Um, then we got slingshot drivers right here. You have hypersphere. If we get to hypersphere Beyblades in a battle in the tournament, then we'll do a hypersphere battle because why not? Here are all of the speed storm drivers. Quite a lot of these. And here we have the um, quad drive um, base drivers and the armor tips. Um, so that's it for the parts. Just look at this mess on my floor. Now to put it all together and put it back in that box I used to organize them all. Oh, that, oh, what just happened? Okay, uh, yeah. And that was crazy, all that Beyblade stuff you just saw. Yeah. Okay, so that was all the parts. Um, so yeah, I guess, like, uh, comment your combos in the comment section, uh, down below. Also, please, this is, sounds so dumb, but please share this video, because, you know, I want to get to like maybe 32 um, participants in the tournament, so, and for that to be more likely to happen, then um, you know, uh, you're gonna have to show other people. But if we can get only like maybe 16 people, that'll be fine, um, because you know my comments uh, I don't get many of them nowadays. But that's or whatever. But um, yeah, that was about it for that. Um, and uh, I'll see you. Bye.